Hey guys, my name is Mouse and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today a new version of Blender has been released and that is Blender 3.3. This version just flowed like water. I can't keep up. But uh, yeah, and uh, there are some new exciting features in geometry nodes. Uh, and uh, actually for me, the most exciting feature has always been there. I just did know about and uh, now that they have updated it, I've found out about it. And uh, that is the Gliss Pencil Line Art. You know, I've been trying to do a lot of... Uh, anime styles but uh, one thing i usually struggle with is the uh, dr having lines drawn onto the models uh, having a line art I, th I think that's what it's called and uh, usually i try to use the a uh, free freestyle uh, feature uh, let me see this this here let me see if i can show you if we try render this Suzan with that on it takes a bit longer to render any image and actually because i'm let me make sure that i'm not using a very huge image resolution so let me screen so this at 50 percent i'll just show you what i mean so yeah it adds those line traces but uh, the more complex geometry you have in your scene the more time it takes to render and uh, you don't really have control over uh, what objects to render and what objects not to render uh so the this is not actually a new feature but uh, there has been improvements it's the this this pencil line art uh, feature uh, it can now draw better lines i didn't know that it could even draw lines at all but you can basically get the same uh, results of using the free line art uh, but with more control uh, since you're using this pencil and this pencil is a very full feature uh, in blender so let me show you how you can use it you just add a modifier uh, so you just need a new gliss pencil object and uh, if you go to the gliss pencil you'll see and uh, collection line art uh, object this is available in other blender features so it's not just in this feature there have been improvements so you just click on that and you see you see even the line traces directly in your viewport uh, with freestyle you don't see this until you render but uh, with uh, this uh, uh, glitch pencil line art tool you can see them directly here and uh, let me first turn off this and when you render it will also show up in your render like that and you can control the thickness by just going here in the modifiers you see uh, uh, if you want uh, a very uh, low thickness like this and it's not it, it, it doesn't only work on one object you can uh, add this to multiple it, it will just detect any object you have in the scene and trace that object like instantly like that other than that there are new improvements in uh, geometry nodes you have a uv unwrap and path uv unwrap uh, node so previously in geometry nodes we didn't have an, a way to unwrap any geometry and uh, if your geometry came with the uh, uvs so for example if i add to you i create a new image here texture image new uv grid can see that this has uv maps and uh, if i go to the uv editor you can see uh, this is how a uv map looks but uh, if we set up a new geometry nodes and uh, maybe did some stuff here let's say get rid of the uv maps in the way that i want yeah so you can see if i join this with a different object you see we start to, we lose the uv map uh, of the object uh, like you say the checkerboard uh, the checker pattern disappeared and uh, implying that uh, the uv maps have been reset and are uh, unusable so we don't really have we didn't really have a proper way to uv unwrap now we do with uh, the new uv map uv unwrap uh, features or not so if you use shift a you can see now we have a new menu called uv and under that you have uv live uv unwrap and uv uh, pack uv island so to use this is very simple you just go under uv uh, if you unwrap and if you want to pack those UVs you just uh, connect this to uh, to the pack and uh, then uh, to use the UV maps you have created you need to uh, to uh, to output these into uh, the group output and then go to the output node uh, you see the output output attributes name that I will just call this UVs like that and uh, now in the UV map here I can just go under input attribute and I just copy this name UVs and uh, now I have uh, access to those UV map 
So uh, since this is a, still a better version, uh, the, you can see that uh, the EV map is not very, it's, it's not perfect yet. So you might have to let's go here. Let me show you. It's, it's, a, it's a bit buggy. You can see when I just unchecking this just makes it uh, basically, I don't know, like that. So it's, it's still buggy. It doesn't uh, work perfectly just yet. So yeah, we'll have to wait uh, for some improvements on this and see how uh, how better it can become. And uh, yeah, maybe we also have other nodes like the instance scale, instance rotation. Uh, this is just this is just like uh, the position. I uh, know. Let me show you how it works. If you have say uh, a breed of instances, a breed of instances. So like like. Uh, grid like this let me scale it up a bit and uh, distribute instances points on instances like that and maybe we can uh, instance on those points instance on points and just use this object this geometry as the instance element now we can uh, scale them down or we can randomly say we, we randomly scale them down just have a random order like that uh the the new scale instance can be used so if we go to if we search for scale scale instance scale you see that uh, we have a new node called scale instance and the way you could use this is uh, say you could uh, remove all all uh instances that have a scale larger than something so we can do we can compare uh, we can do a math node uh, I think it's a compare, compare node, and just basically just get, basically just delete any instance uh, that uh, uh, we, we can basically delete any instance that is larger than whatever value here. So this is one way to use. Uh, the, this instance scale so we can remove some instances based on their scale or we can uh, I don't know what else can we do maybe rotate them so if I do our rotate instance rotate instance and replace this this delete with the rotate instance so we can rotate any instance that is larger or bigger than uh, this scale so let me change uh, this is pivot I want uh, yeah so we can basically determine our rotation by so any stuff any building that is smaller than this size can be uh, can be rotated like that uh, or there's also the rotation scale so rotation rotate instance rotation basically works the same so we can replace this uh, with this so any instance that are uh, I guess then we have to randomize uh, the rotation here. So any instance that has a rotation greater than something, maybe we can we can uh, scale it down or remove it. Basically, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a very useful node. Uh, let's see what else what else I uh, think. And uh, finally, what talk about is the new tracking. Uh, feature in Blender where you can basically replace any part of a video with an image. I uh, use all done in uh, Blender, uh, in Blender motion tracking using the Blender motion tracking feature. So you can just track any part of your uh, video and replace that feature. This so that does a lot of helps with uh, a lot of cleanup uh, of your footage. So if you want to hide some stuff, this feature will be very very useful. So you can export that part into an application like photoshop and then make changes to that part you will uh, he removes that part very easy setup and then replaces uh the nirvana uh name with full fighters so you can see very very easy uh, to use so you can use it to hide a lot of stuff if you are doing uh, films or anything like that so yeah that's it for today uh thank you for yeah if you're new here and you want us to and you want to watch some exciting stuff us making uh, some exciting 
uh, renders. Uh, so this is what we rendered, I think, yesterday. Uh, we were drawing uh, artist versus AI, and uh, I have a, I've actually not looked at these myself. So I'm looking at them at the same time as we. Yeah, so this is a render we made uh, on the live stream. Uh, uh, then we also did this room. Yeah, I think this one uh, came out really look looking nice. Uh, if you do a Photoshop touch up, uh, this can uh, look even much better. But uh, yeah, we did all these three uh, in a span of one stream. That was, uh, I think, two hours. Yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.